You see these cats is clones. The point is, he's gonna. All right, y'all, people. <laughs> I'd like to just address some issues that concerns us as a nation. You know, there are so many things that pulls on us that causes us to struggle with our identity and question our worth. You know, it's not enough for me to like my spiritual self and not my cultural self because image is the bedrock for how we build in life. And so the three important questions that every one of us must answer is, who am I? I mean, really, who am I? And if I am valuable, what's the purpose for all of this value? So those are the questions that we must answer. And so this first piece I like to do is a celebration for everything that we are. It's called good or bad hair. Good or bad hair? What is that? There is no such thing. Now, some people have curly hair, wavy hair, and coarse hair. But it's all good hair. It's just different. Enigma of a black woman. Why do you say you love me, but yet cause me so much pain? You play games with my mind as if I'm the one insane. Why do you abuse me with your fist, your words, and your rejection? Why is it with others and not me you choose to share your affection? Why did you fill my head with fictitious dreams and plans? You were the one who said, I'm your one woman man. Why is it me, your queen, you choose to disrespect? You refer to me as your female dog without a single solitary regret. Why can't I be your confidant, your friend, your all in all? Why can't I be the one to pick you up when down you fall? Why, when I gave an inch, you took more than a mile? Then you have the audacity to expect me to bear your child? Why should I be blamed for making you feel like less of a man? Couldn't you have planned your dream and worked your own plan? Why did you vow to spend the rest of your life with me? How do you define the rest of your life? One year, two years, or is it three? Why do you rant and rave when I elect to date outside my race? My brother, if you can't fulfill the need, let the Caucasian, the Hispanic, even the Asian fill your space. Why are you intimidated by my gross income, my fame, my success? Just do right by me, and you too will be blessed. Why do you thrive on tearing down my self-esteem? Suddenly I'm too fat, too stupid, no longer the woman of your dreams. Why, black man, is it so difficult to put your black queen up on her throne? If you're going to hinder and not help, then just leave me alone. I am. I am outstanding. I am outstanding. I am outstanding on the corner. My poor reception, $2 thrift store radio hisses. The lovely jazz melody over the whispering static. Though you may not drive a great big Cadillac. Safe. I'm safe from that same bus ride to working back king. King of my one bedroom flat shack, shack. Dead, it's another fine summertime sunset. Fred is dead. Da -da 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 -da. That's what I say. I am. I am outstanding. I am outstanding on the corner. Astounded by the city too busy to hate. A blaze in southern tradition like lynching and flying the rebel flag high on the Capitol building or on the back of dirty red pickup trucks, dirty red necks screaming, yee 
tires screeching, red light, rush hour, noise pollution wild, traffic spews, toxic fumes like the industrial revolution. Death. Death is big business. In marketing class, Grim Reaper wears a white collar to use arts and crafts to fashion tombs smaller than the womb. Cutting down flowers, y'all, they cutting down flowers, they are cutting down flowers before they bloom. Too scared to scream. Two naked bodies were found in the alley. Halloween. Trick or treat, today seems too soon. Armageddon is already started and it's December in the middle of June. Brr. I am outstanding. I am outstanding. I am outstanding. Astounded by the full moon. Oh! The sin of doom and hot garbage wafts in the thick, murky wind, mixing with the mystery smell of the Tuesday night special. I am. I am outstanding. I am outstanding on the corner. Astounded by flickering lights. Woo, woo, woo. And siren sounds that preside over my courtyard like, Lord of the manor. Grab my bin blunt, I grab my bin blunt, heading for my suburban patio, my private balcony, the fire. Escape is welcome. Squeeze, don't squeeze me. Squeeze, don't squeeze me. Squeeze, 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 squeeze the handle and let the heat warm my palm. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze on the trigger to release my anger and end this calm. Squeeze, squeeze, my feet out of my work boots and through the guardrail, dangling, dangling like on the roof in a noose, dealing with demons, dealing with life and death decisions, dangling, um, dangling, um, dangling, dangling, inhale, dangling, inhale, 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 Exhale the aromas of the city, loitering like thick pain, smoke lingering like piss and ish stains, mingled in the hallway. I am, I am, I am outstanding, I am outstanding, astounded by gritty graffiti, yearning to paint the metro glow, Picasso blue, hue man, bob wide behind electrified fences, white folks moving back downtown. I said white folks moving back downtown, now I'm a Faint memory of broken concentration falls like glass to the bum rummaging through the trash like a forgotten treasure, like our secondhand fire cell, like I rummage through my ashtray. Just hoping to have a good day. Sometimes, sometimes I can't help but cry, holding on to the guardrail like cell bars. <laughs> I say a little prayer over my city, over jungle concrete and air conditioned conveniences, over glass, plastic, and steel, over my poor people with plenty over the rich but empty, over my woman in poetry, hoping they heal me like a remedy. God bless me, please, with the patience to keep dealing with these bulls. And my people wishing they was master. <laughs> but gather up your winning son and count your blessings, because when some left, they didn't have any. Besides, I am, I am outstanding. I am outstanding, I am outstanding on my private balcony, overlooking my ghetto paradise. I remember sipping slow gin with a few friends. Back then was about 10. The bikes we had was stolen. We rolling, patrolling. The streets of OBG, I used to sneak to the projects. Having sex with chicken heads with roughnecks, not 12 yet. Flipping off the hill for competition, doing backflips, one missing. God bless Tim, my bad. John Tour was his back, they blew with a 12 gauge. Reggie Butch and Pat Pat, too. I used to hustle playing pool, selling weed, doing school in the locker room, getting money. Jealousy grew. I soon had to exit permanently, but check it. I wanted to make records, ain't nobody knew. I had dreams of being a superstar, pushing them hot cold. Fleetwood with four doors, tight white with gold balls, big holes, big yards, good credit, no cars, real young, left long. Too black, too strong. The type of sh I'm thinking on, I need a family to carry on. Cause when a dead and gone, my legacy lives on. Shh. Like the knowledge in the Quran, huh? You want to last around this hill? Get off that pot of inhaler I say thugs. We die young in the everyday struggle to survive and 
Well, a mother lose another son with dying young in the heavy struggle to find it on it. I pour some liquor for my brothers nowadays. These young and smoking shorties with them AKs. I say our fathers need to interact in some way with thug down. Staying out for days, smoking lace. So many of us off the chain robbing youngins for their chains. Plus the cook up for some affairs. Wait for them to re up. They mess up their own work, snorting all their profit. Ignorance gotta stop it. Mama tired of crying cause for nine months they feed us. The glot down to see us and for what? Power on the streets. Everybody at each other's throat trying to sell the most coat. Majority, they still broke. Cause they hustle with no discipline. Ballers, there's a hit list. Which one of you on? Ain't it sick the type of sh we be on? I live it up until my time gone. Taught to keep my mind strong. Pray to help me stay strong. 25 ain't long. Big and Pop had me writing this song. Now sing the chorus now. Thugs. We die young in the heavy struggle to five long out. Well, a mother lose another son. We die young in the heavy struggle to five long out. I pour some liquor for my, my state, underrated. I'm one of the first ones who made it, who lived to tell it. I'm one of the young ones who felt it, blocks melted. Fighting over territory, youngest die for glory. That's the most hold, the low pros, the fly clothes. Driving down the Florida, the cop coat, candy paint, smoking on. Exotic gang, some shorties rode the broad way. Uptown where I used to stay, four fifth, Amsterdam and convent. I lived a bunch of real shh. Now I'm numb to all the violence, ambulance sirens, courtroom convictions. Talking cause I lived in. My daddy done did it. See my bloodline in it. I done been all in it on every level. We need love now in every ghetto. Uncle Tom, enemy, politicians killing me. Literally, the system show no pity for we. Corrupt cops sneak our blood on the streets. I say thugs. We die young in the everyday struggle to five and all. Will a mother lose another son? We die in love in the every struggle to fight a long hour. I pour some liquor for my brother. <laughs>
one can never know of the shadows I dream, the colors I scream, the words I esteem, or the sounds that I see. I walk in blue stride, gallop over red skies, get lost against caramel highs, and then I come down, and then I go under. I used to wonder why life was full of maybes and maybe what may be will be and if I could just see beyond the sun, maybe I could get a glimpse of God, the great I am, and finally find peace. A summer's breeze in the midst of a turbulent storm and if I was formed in his image, then why can't I find me? Poetry sentenced my existence around similes, metaphors and similes and I'm like a rock wallow with no teeth and there's nothing to fear but the release of your soul. Old time gospel versus new millennium old to a pimp calls alternative funk and what I want is the truth and not somebody's translation of a translation of a translation and I've been waiting to excel for the longest time and rhyme after rhyme I think I'm ready to breathe into the glass bottle and squeeze my frustrations into the solid receptacle polished to reflect life full circle. Eternal journals do I keep to ensure that if I die those who are in tune with my internal position would know exactly what I was feeling. My miscarried descendant dances in a ribbon on high, smiling, saying, Mommy, don't cry, but I do at the rhythm of the epoch, tick tock, tick tock. And if ever it skips, then that's when I'll stop. Blocked, walls block the pathway, the pathway to my heart. And too many people get a heart off of being geometrical stars. And my number one goal is finding favor with God, and the rest will follow. The sun will come out tomorrow, but if I can't get beyond today, then why do I bother to look beyond? The fairy godmother swings her magical wand, but nothing happens and nothing will. Spill dreams cover the kitchen floor, but the more I reach, the more I'm unsure of what it is that I want at this very moment. Is it the glory, the currency, or the dominion? Raising consciousness or raising my children? Being a housewife or making a living? Hoeing for claps after I spit my lyrics or just living for Yahweh and being content. Number four, five, and six, and the latter is how my life should be spent. And so I shall spend my days as a servant, wrapping my hair so that your evil thoughts can't get in and dressing modest so that lustful men pay no attention to what separates me from them. And Simon says, do what I say, but Simon can only go as far as I let him. And so Simon must die, along with the rest of the demons that lie dormant along my spine. And one can never know of the shadows I dream, the colors I scream, the words I esteem, or the sounds that I see. I walk in blue stride, gallop over red skies, get lost against caramel highs, and then I come down. The world is yours. 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 Nomadic orators roam open stage wastelands in search of everlasting mics. What's that? Everlasting mics. Everlasting we, mics. We barter our love for mere applause. <laughs> Content, we travel on, clutching tattered scrolls in our ink-stained hands. It's the mark of our beast. Love. Hate. I write, I write with the passion of a million runaway slaves. Nothing matters except releasing these chains and freeing my thoughts. Mm -hmm. But yet at times my, my conscience weighs my steps, for I have pawned my love for sign up lines, deadlines, deadline. signature lines, the crime, line. malice, premeditated poetry. The jury's cheers find me guilty. But oh, oh, how I love thee. Oh, how I love thee. And I wish I could count the ways, but my time has been allotted. Surely my love for thee could not be contained in space. Why, that will only hinder her grace. Understand my relationship with poetry is love, hate. 
And I guess this is my fate. And I live it out willfully. Pushing along, pushing along, so before you leave your along, jury box afflicted with along. my plea, understand why the poetry slam really messes with me because you, me, we, society, we be poetry. Oh. That's right. Oh. Everything keeps on testing me. Uh, everybody trying to get the best of me. I've given all that I can, now don't you understand? You still some folk want to take the rest of me. Well, I can't let that be all I can't let that be. See, I'm coming to you emotionally, but not just cause it's how it's supposed to be. You see, I don't know about every woman out there in the street, but I do know about me. And to a degree, you may have a point when you talk about emotion, but who in the hell gave you the insane notion that all I do is wallow in tears, crying, cussing over everything that I feel, and I was made to give and give and give and created to live my life catering to you. Because, boo, that's what you've been taught that a woman is supposed to do. Now, I ain't trying to diss you and I ain't trying to be like you, but there are other aspects of me, too. You see, I've got goals and I've got dreams and I'm struggling in a world that's just and mean. I live hard and I love hard and I try hard not to complain. But I do cry sometimes when I come up against the pain of disrespect, loneliness, and neglect. But my tears are the healing bond that calls the Savior arm to hold me. When my everyday blows me away and you can't stay or make it okay, yeah, this is just my everyday is still uh, everything keeps on testing me. Uh, everybody trying to get the best of me. I've given all that I can. Now, don't you understand? You still some folk want to take the rest of me. Well, I can't let that be. No, I can't let that be. See, because I don't believe in standing where some folks has deemed my natural place. And I no longer have to run, run, run this human race. You see, I've been given two wings. They call them wings of faith to fly, fly away from the strains of my every day, my every day of working eight hour plus, cause sometimes y'all overtime is a must. My every day of trying to raise my son to become a strong black man while living in this misguided land of stereotype and statistical hype, saying that he was born criminal and not worthy of the basic form of human love. And that's not enough. <laughs> I'm still trying to love my brothers, get them to see me as more than just a lover. Come from underneath these media covers and let the world know that we can truly love one another. But this is just my everyday. My, 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 my everyday is one that cow gone. <laughs> it won't take away. And if I live it wrong, y'all, I'm going to have hell to pay. But this is just my everyday and still uh, Everything keeps on testing me. Uh, everybody trying to get the best of me. Uh, I've given all that I can. Now, don't you understand? You still some folk want to take the rest of me. Well, I can't let that be. No, I can't let that be. See, the last thing I'm going to say before I leave is that I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired of people labeling and talking about me because I refuse to live my life like supposed to be in terms of femininity, you see. I still think that chivalry should be alive and kicking, but just because I wear certain clothes, it doesn't mean that I'm out there tricking. And just because my hair ain't in dreads, it does not mean that my blackness is dead. And just because I may flirt with you, it doesn't mean I want to roll around in the dirt with you, you see. I don't need suffering <laughs> to feel strong. I live my everyday to the fullest all day long. My everyday of watching my son play and hearing him say, I love you, mommy. Give me the strength to be better than I've ever been. Make me not care about being blamed for the sin of my sister E because I know the girl was deceived. Why her protecting counterparts was totally disobedient. But ever since, I've been blamed for every pain of man. But even if I never understand, I know it's all right because through every dark night, shines the light of my everyday through every dark night shines the light of my everyday so hear me when i say that everything keeps on testing me uh, everybody's trying to get the best of me uh, i've given all that i can now don't you understand you still some folk want to take the rest of me well i 
Can't let there be no I. Can't let there be no I. Can't let that be so I won't let that be see cause this is just my everyday, my, 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 my everyday, yeah, yeah, yeah. I understand that you're a performance art poet as well as a literary artist. Can you uh, explain how you come about doing that? I started writing when I was about, I guess, about seven or eight years old. And my, I wrote a poem called As I Watch You Go By, and my mom was like really liking it, and uh, she inspired me to continue to write anything that had to do with the arts. And um, then there was a point when I didn't write um, a little while in school, and right after high school, about four or five years. But as I got older, I started writing and keeping my work a lot more. Uh, was there a point when you consciously came out and said, well, uh, you know, and because in Atlanta we do have a lot of open mics yeah. and there are a lot of venues for people who uh, either want to just vent their anger or have some therapeutic poetry going on, or was yours more like of the dramatic mode where you felt it was a performance? 